What's up, Cypress Bay? I'm Nick Ramos. And I'm Maria Thomas. And this special senior edition of Aftershock starts now. What's up everybody, I'm Chris, and today I'm gonna to be showing you the top five things you're gonna need for senior year. Was that good? The number one thing on my list is water. I swear if you guys use a As I was saying, I would use a reusable water bottle so it could keep it cold all day and so the teachers don't know what you have. Gatorade, chocolate milk, coffee, normal milk. Next thing I recommend, Headphones. They don't have to be AirPods, but they gotta be in your ear. Helps you focus. Next thing you're gonna need is a binder, preferably for doodling. When your teacher's lecturing for a long time, you kind of get bored and, you know, it helps you, you know, check yourself. Next thing you're gonna need is your ID. Most schools don't let you in without them anymore and you need your clubs. Last thing you're gonna need is a car. Doesn't matter what it is. Okay, as long as it gets from point A to point B, that's all you need. Doesn't matter if it's mommies or daddies, it'll pick up chicks or dudes. I don't judge. Although this year hasn't ended like we all expected, it has definitely been a memorable one. Whether it was because of a club or a group of friends, we will hold on to these memories forever. Four years ago, this crazy adventure began. Throughout high school, we've had the opportunity to find the place where we belong. And for me, that was room 316, home to Cypress Bay Television. I didn't know it four years ago, but this club had turned into my second family. Thank you for the endless opportunities. For the triumphs, to the sorrows, and everything in between. Thank you for the opportunity to represent this club. Thank you for everything. Although this wasn't the ending we all expected, it has taught me to cherish the moment. Thank you, Cypress Bay, for all the memories. But now, it's time for our next adventure. For the last time, Rhea Thomas, CB TV. Hi, I'm Gabby, and for my senior segment, I made the That 70s Show intro, but with a twist. I was planning on making it with all of my friends, but due to social distancing, I had to do the best I could. I hope you enjoy my final segment, and for the last time, I'm Gabby Kernis, CB TV. <sighs> What's going on everybody? For those that don't know me, my name is Ethan Gare and uh, throughout high school and CBTV, I've been a very opinionated person and someone that really doesn't love to edit. So I figured I'd use both of those components and put them into my last segment ever. I'm going to give you the greatest of all time player in each sport, uncut, no edits, 
and it's going to be super opinionated. So first, we're going to start off with the NFL. Tom Brady's the GOAT, undisputed, six Super Bowl rings, MVPs galore, stats, never really had the best receivers on this team. It's going to Tom Brady, no questions asked. Soccer, I'm going to have to go Ronaldo. I know, I know a lot of you Messi fans are going to be a little disappointed, but Ronaldo comes up in the clutch. There hasn't been many times that Messi has came up that big in moments, and Ronaldo does it time and time again, and that's what greatness is. Someone you could rely on, someone that hits the goals when you need them to score. That's Ronaldo. Ronaldo is the GOAT of soccer. Moving on from there, baseball. I have two GOATs. I have Babe Ruth. He really established what it meant to be a baseball player. He really took on the role of this big, strong Big hitter, pitcher, dual threat. And then also Jackie Robinson broke the color barrier, allowed African-Americans into the game. 42's retired, so both of them are the GOATs. Hockey, Wayne Gretzky won. And too soon, I think Ovechkin and Crosby will be in the mix. Uh, they're two great players, and they will be GOATs as well. But for right now, it's Wayne Gretzky holds many records, plays so long, and he's just known as that guy. When you're known as that guy, you're the GOAT. Last but not least, the NB, actually, no, not last but not least, golf, uh, Tiger Woods, most majors. In some majors, he was listed as the favorite and then everybody else. So you could literally, if you were to place a bet on Tiger Woods, it would be for Tiger Woods, favorited over everyone else in the tournament. That's how dominant he was at the sport. It was him versus the whole entire field at one point. And that just shows how great you are as a player. And final, GOAT, Michael Jordan. Six rings, came back, played baseball. I mean, if you watch the documentary, it just speaks for itself. Um, he might have not been the best character person-wise, but he was the best leader the basketball court has ever seen. LeBron is great. I have him at number two, Kobe number three. But Michael Jordan is the undisputed GOAT. I hope you loved my opinionated piece, uncut version. For the very last time, I'm Ethan Gare. I'm going to miss you, CPTV. Although we're all stuck at home, that doesn't mean us seniors get to stay for another year. Our time is up, but not so much for you guys. So, time. Time is a sacred thing. It's finite and irreversible. As my senior year comes to a close, I certainly have learned one important thing. Although goals are important, at the end of the day, they don't matter. What matters is the journey to the goal. Because uh, we don't know where Ramos is. The connections you make. Oh yeah. Hey guys. Oh my gosh, look. Last one, best one. Last one, best one. Yeah. Best one. And most importantly, the memories that will never be forgotten. Science. Bolas and bows and arrows. So don't worry if you don't hit that goal or make that mark. Remember to value the memories because those are priceless. For the last time, I'm Nicholas Alvarado. Nicholas Alvarado. Nicholas Alvarado. Nicholas Alvarado. CB TV. Hi everyone, my name is Sophie Hedekian, and for my last segment for TV, I'm doing 18 Cuisine to honor my first segment in TV, which was, it wasn't my first, but it was like kind of my first, um, in which I did a teen cuisine with my with two of my friends, so I'm doing banana bread, so enjoy. That's all for this special senior edition of Aftershock. If you want to watch previous episodes, make sure to check out our YouTube page at Cyberspace CBTV. And while you're at it, follow our social media at Cyberspace CBTV. For the last time, I'm Nick Ramos. And I'm Maria Thomas. Thanks for watching.